Wall printer. Instructions. Preparing a design for printing with a white backing. To get started, eh? open the image in Adobe Photoshop as usual and make the following adjustments if necessary. First, to convert the image from RGB colors to CMYK, go to Image Mode, CMYK Color. For optimal printing results, we recommend scaling the image to 300 dpi under image. Image size. Press OK and you're good to go. There are several ways to prepare your print. This depends on the motif, its shape and the color of the surface. 1. Basic rectangular print. 2. YHE simple way. 2. Cropped print. The test way to print custom shapes. 3. Print on black surfaces. Suited for black surfaces. Basic rectangular print. The easiest method to apply a white print on any surface, no matter what color it is. After you set your image to 300 dpi and the colors to CMYK. Page 2-3. All you need to do is create a fifth channel for the white ink. Everything that is drawn white on this channel will also be printed white. Everything that is drawn in black will not be printed. Gradations are also possible. Areas drawn in gray on the alpha channel will be used for white printing with less ink application. 2. Select the alpha 1 channel. Press CMD plus I to invert the channel to fill it completely with white color. You're done. It's important that the alpha channel is set to visible. Just click the area left to the preview picture of the channel till the eye icon appears 2. cropped print suitable for printing custom shapes and objects cropped motifs must be cropped both on the cmyk color layer and in the alpha channel 1. open up your image as usual on your keyboard press m or select the rectangular marquee tool with your mouse 2. click on select and mask in the upper bar above the image cropped print 3. In the following window, click on Select Subject to let Photoshop automatically select your motif. 4. On the right side, select Overlay by clicking on the View drop down menu. This will help you see your selected motif. 5. The last step is to click on Output to under Output Settings in the lower right corner and select New Layer. Then click on OK. 6. Now you have created a new layer with your cropped subject. Right click on the preview of the layer and select Select Pixels. 7. Click on Channels, then click on the Save Selection as Channel button. Congratulations, now you've got your white channel set up. 8. Under Layers, click on the bottom layer and press Backspace to delete the layer as you don't want to print it. 9. You're left with your final layer with your cropped motif. You're done. Suitable for prints on black surfaces, as you Minimize the use of black ink so you can use the black color of your surface instead. This method is particularly suitable for motifs that integrate seamlessly into the wall via gradation, similar to CMYK color print, where the white surface color represents the white tone of your image, the black surface color replaces the black ink print in the motif. Open up your image as usual. Go to the Select menu and choose Color Range. We will create a selection that will exclusively select all black color in the image just to get rid of it. In the following window first select invert, then select the eyedropper tool and click on the darkest spot on your image. The fuzziness slider helps you to fine tune the amount of your selected color. Hit OK when you're ready. Click on the layer mask button to create a mask which is based on the selection you created previously. Right click on the layer mask and select apply layer mask to merge the image and the layer mask into one layer. This step basically crops your motif and erases the black color of your motif. Again, right click on the new merged layer and select select pixels to create a selection of the subject on your layer. On the channels tab, click on save selection as channel button to create your white ink alpha channel. You're done. Please note that these are just a few examples of preparing images for white printing. Some processes work better for some than others. It's best to find your own workflow. It is help a tool to have some knowledge of Photoshop beforehand. Pre-sharpen the image once or even twice before printing, even if it looks over-sharpened on the screen, the 
Printed result will look clear. You will find it in the menu under Filter Sharpen Sharpen. It is often advisable to lighten your subjects a good bit before printing. You can do this in the following menu. Image Adjustments Brightness, Contrast. The image now needs to be saved as a TIFF on your hard drive. To do this, click on File Save As and select the appropriate options. Then click Save to save as a TIFF. Now you can import the image into Processor 6. Zero and process it for printing on your Wallpen E2. This process should LRG be familiar to you, with the exception that calibration is now fully done in Wallpen OS. When you click on the edited preview image, you have the ocean to change the view, as demonstrated gear. The different views offer the following. 1. The already familiar CMYK view. 2. An orientation view that shows the non-printed areas in black. 3. A view that only shows the areas printed in white. 